Hi, so today's video, I uh, wanted to show you guys, I have a, a Karcher pressure washer that I bought on Amazon. They have two wands. They have, this is called the Dirt, dirt Buster or Dirt Blaster wand. And uh, this is the one that, uh, it creates a cone of uh, very fine needle-like high pressure. So this is, this is your more volatile, more violent uh, wand that you would use for like concrete, uh, you can actually remove some paint from your frame if you're not careful with it. Um, so what has happened, this is uh, about four years old, and the internal mechanisms of it have stopped pivoting and it's, it's not functioning. It's basically pissing one pinhole stream out to the side and it's done. Um, so we're, I'm going to take it apart and try to look inside of it and see if we can see why it's, I mean I can hear, you, you can hear it rattling. So the parts inside there appear to be loose, but yet they're not spinning at a rapid rate. When, when this is working, it looks like a solid cone. You can't see the individual spray. You just see the, the expanding cone going out from you, and you see it really ripping into you know, the, the black uh, mold that's in the pores of concrete and stuff like that. So as it is right now, it's really unusable. So if we break it, we don't really care at all. So we're going to go ahead and vise it up. I did already pre-size it. They have a little bit of a hex right here. And uh, right here is your 18 millimeter. Okay. It actually popped loose a lot easier than I thought. Okay. So in here, uh, there's a plastic disc with four holes. Let's see. Maybe you can see that. So what we're going to do, we'll take our uh, take our needle nose here, we'll grab the tip sticking out right there. There we go. We got an O-ring out. We got an O-ring out, and we got that disc out. And you can see the uh, the holes have angles. So this is a dished surface, and you can see the angle. As the uh, fluid comes out, it, the fluid from all the holes is traveling this way, right? So we'll set this down. So we'll take this, you can see inside there hopefully, and okay, and that's what we have in there. So there's nothing left in this cone. This is now an empty piece. So now we have This nozzle that I can actually feel there is a sharp edge. Okay, and I'm wondering if that's our problem. I don't know. I don't know that you could see it or not, but there's like an indention in the center, and I don't know if that's supposed to be there or if that should be a smooth round surface. Uh, so I think what we're gonna do is. Oh, you know what? I could I could see actually I could see there is a hole straight through I can see light I believe yeah if I block the light from coming through the white housing that goes black so there, so there is a hole okay and there is a check valve of sorts right here so the water must be somewhat as this is whipping around come pushing this off the seat and coming out of that hole and this is trapped in the end and this is being whipped around by this cup right here the water is flowing like this so this being trapped in the end of this nozzle all, all it can do is oscillate at the bottom creating the cone effect out at the tip so why is it not functioning? I don't know. All right, I'm going to take a look at this all and see if I can figure anything out, and I'll come back if I can find anything. Okay, so after examining this a little bit, um, I noticed that the tip had been extruded upwards, um, which would be up towards that, that hole there where this rides. Um, I'm guessing over the last four years of use, that the water coming through had uh, deformed the steel. So what I <clears throat> decided I was going to do was I was going to take and uh, 
put my file here, rub lightly and rotate as I rub until I polish that deformed tip off. So I am now smooth. When you first took it apart and you rubbed your finger on here, there was a jagged extrusion sticking out. Um, extrusion, like the, the, the metal was pulled or drawn, okay? Um, so now, so if you can see that right there, so now I have a nicely radius smooth, there's nothing catching your skin anymore. I might be able to take an angle it a little bit, maybe even polish it a little bit more. I mean, I'm barely pushing on the foul. I'm not, I'm not trying to file and gouge and remove a lot of metal. I'm just trying to catch those the jagged pieces of metal that are sticking out. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Hopefully you can see that there. So now we've gotten rid of all that roughness there. And then the other thing I did, I did chamfer this back at approximately a 45 degree angle uh, where each of these fins was because <clears throat> I can imagine those potentially hitting this plate as you're doing your rotations. So I just shaved that back a wee little bit, got rid of that rough extrusion right there, and in my opinion, that's clean. There's nothing, no foreign material in there. So that can be dropped back in. And then we can take our disc and O-ring, put our disc in, Okay, so there's our disc back in place right there. It took the O-ring, and I put the O-ring back on here. So the only thing left to do, we have no spare parts, right? No, nope, no spare parts. So now the water is going to flow, and as you, if you look here, you should be able to see. So that's a straight through hole, okay? So let's see if I can block most of the light from you. Okay, can you see through there? So that's a straight through passage. So that straight through passage is going to carry our water up. Our water is going to come up here at this large opening. It's going to come up into our disc. That disc is going to create a radially turbulent motion out of the water. That water is going to carry with it the stick that I was rubbing on the file, which is going to create the nozzle opening back into our nice cone, we hope. The only, you know what? Let me think. There's one other thing that we could do. We could put a little bit of uh, Bell Ray waterproof grease on here. You know what? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to leave it dry as it is. And let's just see what happens the next time I go to use this thing. So we'll go ahead and we'll put this right back on. Take our file out of our vise. Put our wand back in. Take our 18 millimeter. Tighten it up as much as we dare. That should be plenty. And my suspicions are that we've done a repair on this. I'll have to let you know later. We'll see if we fix this while we're jagging around down here. In the meantime, I think I'm going to drink me a Corona. Maybe two. All right, thank you.